another episode of the King Cat Tournament Trail. We're here in Manhattan, Kansas, and we're super excited. I have Marsha with me from Visit Manhattan. Thank you, Marsha, for joining me. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. We're glad you're in our community. Thank you so much. Could you tell me a little bit more about Manhattan and the activities you have to do here? Absolutely. So Manhattan is a college town. We're home of Kansas State University. We also have a military base uh, close to us, Fort Riley Post. We certainly have many amenities and attractions. Our best is the Flint Hills Discovery Center. So the Flint Hills of Kansas is a special region that's 22 counties here in this area. Um, it makes up the tall grass prairie and it's great for the outdoors. It's beautiful hiking, beautiful um, trails to explore. Um, one of the trails that we have is the Kansas River. So a waterway right here through town um, and the Kansas River is, is is a great prairie basin river. Awesome, thank you for sharing that. Could you tell me a little bit more about the water sports that you offer? Well, we have Tuttle Creek State Park, which is where the Cabela's King Cat will be hosted tomorrow. It's the second largest body of water in Kansas. Um, it's got great boating, fishing, hiking. Um, there's people that sailboat on it in different areas. So it's a lot of kayakers get out and are on that lake as well. well awesome, thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to be here. Stay tuned for more on this episode. Now have you state your first and last name, where you're from. Yes, my name is Tom Northrup. I'm from here in Manhattan. Uh, it's Mac Del Rosso and I'm from Randolph, Kansas. I live in the country just north of Tuttle Creek Lake, about four miles, so it's kind of my home, home grounds, if you will. Tell me a little bit more about Tuttle Creek Lake. I know you said that you got out here, so tell me a little bit about what makes this lake unique. Uh, this lake is a lot different than Milford Lake. It's more of a, uh, a straight structured lake, you know. Uh, Milford has a lot more twists and turns and, and coves where Tuttle is more of a straight line lake. I would say this lake is fished more like a river because it doesn't have that main structure as far as, you know, a lot of coves and that kind of thing, so there's just one kind of big channel. Um, there is a river channel that it runs through there that is very predominant. Uh, your big blues and things like that are going to hang around those big structures of that old river channel. So what kind of weather are you hoping for for tomorrow? Uh, well, we're getting the south wind, so that's good. Uh, south is in the mouth, so as they like to say anyway. Uh, and uh, it's going to get warm in the afternoon. I honestly think that the afternoon bite is probably going to be the better bite between the morning bite and the afternoon bite, and you're going to have the issue of the fog and everything else. So why do you think that the afternoon will be better? Uh, just because those fish have been, you know, kind of stunted with this colder weather coming in and everything. Warm weather and mild wind. I don't why want anything over 10 miles an hour. <laughs> because it gets pretty choppy out there. This Tuttle is a straight lake, north and south, and you have a north and south wind and you're gonna get four foot, five foot choppers out there. I'm here with Joe and Demetria Westbrook and this is a big tournament for them. They are currently in second place. How are you feeling, guys? We're, we're excited. Uh, we're really looking forward to, to tomorrow, which uh, if we can finish ninth or above and uh, the team Ahead of us has, uh, I believe, fifth. We can win the points, uh, Angler of the Year. You guys are super dedicated to this tournament trail. We see you week after week. What do you think has made you so successful? Obviously, you know, our faith. You know, we have strong faith in Christ, and, and we, you know, give uh, a lot of thanks for the opportunities that we have. We're very thankful for the opportunities that we have. We know not a lot of people have the opportunities to, uh, to travel and, and to do this. So. And you know, just hard work. You know, we 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 get up and we go every day, and we we do we do the very best that we can, make the most of every day. Hey guys, I'm here with Donnie and Lonnie, and they're currently tied for first place right now in points. Guys, tell me a little bit about how you feel about that. 
we come into today with a pretty good plan. We just hope to stay in the top five. Another team is if they finish in the top eight, they they can catch us. Hopefully, we'll we'll catch enough to to stay ahead of them. And we just we just try to, to come up with a plan and then stick with it. And then we put the time in for pre fishing and we just enjoy doing it. Most of all, it's just. It ain't about the winning every time. It's about just being able to enjoy what we do. Thank you guys so much for joining me and best of luck. Hi there. I'm Tom Northrup from Manhattan, Kansas. I'm out here fishing Tuttle and we're at the King Cat Club, man. It's a great club. We're having a great time out here. I'm Rick Dodd. I'm from Newton, Kansas. And, uh, I don't get a chance to fish tunnel a lot, but I sure have in the past, and it's treated us pretty good today. Earlier this morning, we were back shallow, probably about 12 to 14 foot, doing pretty well. The fish quit biting, so we moved out here in the deeper water. We're running a creek channel, a river channel through here. Uh, we've got planer boards that take the bait out sideways from the boat. Uh, gives the fish a lot better pattern to, to bring in the, the scent and it seems to work pretty good. I run 60 pound braid, 50 pound leader, and 8 odd circle hooks. Uh, Ricky runs a little bit different. I've been running 80 pound braid with 65 pound leader and 12 odd hooks and a 5 inch float to keep my bait off the bottom a little bit. Pretty important to have those floats on there. Seems like they're hitting on about everything we put on for bait. We've had crappie, white bass, carp. I think we've caught them on all three of them. Yep, we sure have. Yeah, Ricky and I, we're, this is our real first tournament that we fished together. Uh, he uh, fishes with some other guys, and I also fish with some other partners on some of these tournaments. This is my second King Cat tournament. Uh, it's turning out to be a fantastic tournament. We've got a pretty good turnout, I thought. Uh, well, the weather was a little bad this first part of this morning, but it's really a beautiful morning now. Uh, we have to keep our brooding stock in, in these lakes. Uh, these fish are 30, 40, 50 years old sometimes. And you take one of those out and they're going to be replaced for quite a while. A lot of people don't realize that they want to eat them, but that, that's fine. Catch all the small ones you want and eat them, but leave those big ones alone, you know. God's sakes. <laughs> we got a tagged fish this morning. Big one. Yeah, that, that's kind of exciting. <laughs> we got a nice one. Tags above. There's the tag right there. I don't know how we're going to clean it off. I can't read no numbers on it yet. That's the biggest one I've, I've caught out here tagged. The Kansas Department of Natural Resources has tagged some of these blue cats here. And what they do by tagging them is they're tagged and then released and then available for recapture by anglers. And these guys here have caught one today. And so between the original time the fish was captured and tagged, now we will measure and weigh them again and turn in growth rates. You'll be able to figure out uh, growth rates, travel patterns, and uh, length of life on some of these fish. So it's important if anglers do capture fish like this, at very least record the number and measure your fish and document that and get it back to DNR so they can make the right fisheries management decision. Joe and Demetri at Westbrook from Chandlerville, Illinois. And uh, we're fishing here on Tuttle Creek Lake here in Kansas uh, today. We're kind of struggling a little bit. We've got two fish in the boat. We're in a points race for, uh, for Angler of the Year, so we really need to show out at this tournament if at all possible. We're just really uh, a little nervous today and uh, just trying to do our best. If we can put another good fish in the boat, I think we got a chance. Cloud cover's kind of making the shallow bite a little bit more challenging. We was hoping the sun would come out a little sooner, but it hasn't. You know, they're just docile. We've had a couple bites, but uh, they're just real, real slow. That front's really got them a little, little confused right now, so. All of our pre-fishing, our, our best bites have been in, in actually a foot of water, anywhere from a foot to five foot of water. Like I said, that front come in and shut that down. So we have, we have some other areas in a little deeper water and we're getting ready to head that way. <laughs> you know, we've, we've fished the uh, King Cat Trail, uh, you know, for a couple years now. This has been our most serious 
year of fishing this trail and we are uh, just really excited. We've seen the ups and downs in the last five years and are extremely excited of the direction that King Cat is going. It was almost uh, something that we were going to look other places and I'm glad we hung in there because uh, not only is it getting better, but it's better than it's ever been. And you know, I, I, I'll say this, you know, if, if someone's on the fence, you know, whether it be a local or someone that a well-known angler, uh, I, I'd strongly encourage them to fish, to give it a shot. You know, I think they'll be uh, happily surprised. I think it'll be well worth it for them. So um, even, you know, I, husband and wife teams, you know, if, if they're, you know, oh, I don't know. You know what, you ought to just at least try it. Cause I, I'll tell you what, you'll be impressed and you'll, you'll have a good time, so. Couldn't be happier. Couldn't have a better experience. Couldn't have a better group of guys. It is absolutely uh, been a just been a blast. Hey guys, welcome back to another segment of Catfish 101. I'm here with Trevor Justice, and today we're going to talk about hooks and line. So, Trevor, tell us a little bit more about the common types of hooks and lines in catfishing. Well, there's a, a couple really basic style hooks that you're going to use in, or see in catfishing. Here today we have a circle hook. This is a 10 uh sized hook and just based upon the time of year, the type of catfish, um, the size differences is uh, what type of size hook that you're going to want to use. Basic knot for a circle hook is a no knot snell and you're just going to feed that line straight in the eye um, from front to back run the line down the back of the shaft, wrap it about five to eight times, and then just take the excess line and feed it back through the eye from back to front, and pull it tight, and you have your no-knot stell. What that does is that creates a trigger effect with this circle hook, and when the catfish takes it and you pull it, it sets that hook in the catfish's mouth. Well, Trevor, thank you for sharing those tips with the viewers. Thank you guys for tuning in for this segment. Stay tuned for more. Junction City, Kansas. My name is Lamar Ware. Been fishing with him right about a year. My name is Freddie Hurt. I also live in Junction City, Kansas. I'm from Alabama. We've known each other for about four years. My previous tournament partner was also military, and he uh, he retired just like I did last year. But you know, we keep doing what we do. Uh, this is the third Cabela's tournament I've been in. First year I fished it, uh, we made the nationals, it was pretty cool. What was talked about last night in the meeting is a great thing. It's gonna be a great opportunity for cat fishermen. We got some good fish here today. I think our biggest so far is like 29 inches. We do have our limit, so right now we're going through the call out phase, see if we can get some bigger ones. Unfortunately, I can't weigh any of them because last week my grandson threw my scale in the lake and I didn't replace it yet. In uh, 2019, like I said, my previous uh, tournament partner, me and him started fishing together. We were both active duty at the time. And he's real big and he's a real big business minded kind of guy. He talked to me about starting my own business because I told him I wanted to start guiding. And we came up with the name I Fish Kansas. I do a lot of kid tournaments around Kansas. So for me, when I talk to kids, um, I primarily talk to them about the fun of, of catfishing or just fishing in general. I have seven grandkids, believe it or not, and every last, all of them except for one has been on this boat and he caught a fish. Uh, the youngest is two years old. He's the one who threw my scale in the lake last week. And uh, he caught his first catfish with me and uh, it's just amazing. But my eight year old, she's gonna be my tournament person. Um, I had her driving the boat before before you know it, she's gonna be backing this thing down the down the lake. But I, I just primarily taught them about having fun, you know, making sure we're doing the right thing with fish and they see what I do and uh, they just enjoy it. Every time they come down, they're always ready to go fishing on Papa's boat. Donnie Fountain, Lonnie Fountain, we're from Jasper, Georgia. Coming up here pre-fishing, we used the wind about like it is now, and we caught some pretty decent fish. This morning, when it was real foggy, we caught two good fish, and then after the, after the wind picked up, the fish kind of slowed down. So well, we're hoping to get another good fish just any time. We're dragging the bait with planter boards on a lake. That's a way to cover the ground a good bit. Get them sped out away from the boat. Well, we, we are tied for first place in the points race. If we finish 
fifth or better, we will gain a point and we will be in the lead. If the Westbrooks finish in the top 10, they will gain a point and they will be tied with us. If they gain two points on us, they'll be in the lead. We're hoping to win it outright today. That's what the plan is. That thing's had a lot of bait cut on it. Oh, that's a damn it. They're doing a survey with the fish to see how healthy they are, how much they're growing. I don't know that we're going to be able to see the numbers on it. It looks like he's been tagged for a while. But we will we'll get amazements of it and clean this tag off and try our best to get the numbers so we can let the study do what it's supposed to. So, yeah, we, we started fishing the King Cat Tournament Trail way back 15 years ago, uh, back when they first started. We really enjoyed it uh, we've made a lot of friends along the way we we've caught a lot of good fish uh, last year we won the uh angler of the year for the cabela's I mean, for the king cat trail we hope to do it again this year and bob's doing an outstanding job from, from what the trail was in the past to what it's headed to in the future i think it's going to be big things for catfish and i think it's going to going to improve the overall tournament trails not just his trail, but the overall trail, because this is something that the other team, other tournaments are going to want to improve on. And they, they're going to want to step up their game to kind of, kind of keep up with what, what Bob is doing and King Cat is doing. All right, we're back here, Tuttle Creek Reservoir, Manhattan, Kansas. Again, another exciting weekend for us for weigh-in. Uh, there's a points race going on, Bob. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. We've got 58 anglers, six different states that's represented here. We've got three people that's competing for the angler of the year, and we've got one team that's here that's trying to wrap up the overall points race. So it's gonna be an interesting weigh-in today for sure. You all stay tuned, see what happens here real soon. We got Doug McAnally, it's the Cody Howard coming up. All right, now let me give you a little heads up on Doug. Doug is uh, in the overall points race, and what Doug needed to do when he got here was basically land one fish to lock in the overall points race. Yeah, they got it. They got they it. They got it. They got Congratulations, it. Congratulations, Doug. Absolutely. This is your uh, 2022 overall points champs this year. Well, hey guys, I'm standing right here with our leaders in points for the 2022 King Cat Tournament Trail. How are you feeling, guys? Feeling real good about it. It's been a long, hard road, but we're finally there and it feels good. Well, how did it go today? Um, it started off pretty good. We, I mean, we caught three fish right off the back. We came in just knowing that just one fish. We've been saying it since we just left Alabama, just catch one fish. We caught our one fish and after that it was time just to get a limit and then go chase a big fish. Unfortunately, a big fish didn't happen for us today, but once the sun came up and the wind started blowing, the bite died and we never caught, never, I don't think we got a bite again. Were there any sponsors or indiv any individuals that you guys would like to thank for your journey this year? Um, I'd like to thank Dry Creek Marine, keeping the boats running, um, spread them, plant them boards, multi bars, Smackdown Catfishing, Sick Outdoors. I'd like to thank my wife, Tiffany. Uh, Matt's not with us today, but he was part of the team also. And want to thank Samantha for allowing him and and all of us to come fish in this trail this year and we just want to thank them too because they're our biggest sponsors. <laughs> well from the King Cat team we appreciate y'all's dedication this year and it didn't go unnoticed and thank y'all again. Thank you. Uh, right now we got Tom Northrup and Ricky Dodd. 53.21 pounds. 53.21 pounds. Congratulations, guys, on your first place finish. You had a phenomenal day. Tell me a little bit about how you're feeling. I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, this is my first year getting my feet wet, catfishing, and uh, to win one's just really sweet. I'm very, very pleased, too. It's an awesome day. It's a wonderful tournament you guys put on here. The King Cat tournaments are the best. Well, thank you all for sharing that. Are there any sponsors or individuals that you would like to thank today? I don't have no sponsors, but I'd like to thank my wife for letting me take the weekends off and go do this. Definitely the same here. Yeah, she's at home with the dogs right now and she doesn't know that I have one yet, but she will. <laughs> well, congratulations to you guys and thanks for joining us on the King Cat Tournament Trail. Thank you, we'll awesome job. Yes, sir. We've got some drama here at the scales. 
Joe and Demetria Westbrook are coming to the scales. These guys have to beat 22.07 pounds in order to get Angler of the Year. Oh, yeah. There you oh, go. Yeah. Congratulations. Five, six. That's Angler your Angler of the, of the Year right there. Our Anglers of the Year. Well, I'm standing here with our Anglers of the Year. Congratulations, guys. Well deserved. Thanks. Thanks a lot. We, uh, it's been a, it's been a long struggle, and uh, we are uh, we are thrilled to, to have the opportunity for sure. It's been a grind, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much from the King Cat team. Your dedication this year has not gone unnoticed, and you guys are so deserving of this award. Are there any other sponsors or any individuals you'd like to thank today? Absolutely. You know, our sponsor is the Lord Jesus. You know, he, he gets us down the road, gives us the, everything that we need to uh, financially to, to be able to travel and make the tournaments. Yeah. And so, you know, definitely give credit to, to God for that. And, and like I said, you know, everyone that's, that's just been supportive and, and helped us, that it's just been great. You know, just to be competitive uh, is, is enough for us. And to win, I mean, that's just, it's just, I, I just don't have any words. It, it's like I told her on the way in, I said, you know, you know, it's, you know it's God when you've done everything you can do and it gets done, yeah. you know you know that God's given it to you. Yeah, and, right. and we're very thankful for that and very, you know, uh, definitely want to give credit where credit's due. Yeah. Awesome, well thank you guys so much and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in on this episode. We're so excited to see y'all at the Classic. Stay tuned for more next week.